This did not go how I thought. <laughs> you eat my feelings right now. I didn't think it would happen, but Water 7's making me a uh, stop believer more every day. This is a, a really important episode in my mind. For a lot of reasons. It's crazy to me that he even has nerves in his fingertips anymore. Oh, oh, we saw about to get triggered. Or Frankie's got some clutch like cyborg. It's like they can rebuild me, they can rebuild your shit. <laughs> but okay, I needed this scene. <laughs> He's concerned? Yeah, he's saying if you want to die with your ship, I, I, I'll let you. But if you think you can make it to East Blue, you're wrong. And I don't want you to die. Oh. This did not go how I thought. What the story? <laughs> you eat my feelings right now. It's interesting how it's not out of maliciousness. I didn't think it would happen, but Water 7's making me a uh, Usopp believer more every day. You think Usopp was my favorite character? The first, like, 200 episodes. I thought he was a wiener too. We saw just spent the last like two hours <laughs> hammering the ship, and he just did that. <laughs> He didn't go ham, eh? He just made his point.
Right back to work. Dude, this boy daggers put deserves a raise for the seat. I can hear it. <sighs> Damn you, Cam. <laughs> like I love Usopp. I was curious to see if Crunchyroll took it out, and they did. You know when he said shut up? Yeah. And his eyes were black, and he turned around? It's the only time ever in One Piece history, and never happened again. He said, to Frank, he said, <laughs> and it was because nice. Oda wanted to exemplify the impact and the meaning of this scene and Usopp. And that's why I was heartbroken mm -hmm. just now that they, he, he didn't, they didn't, <sighs> the crunchy roll didn't do it. Um, it's not even air all, on at my heart. I'll remember it as. <laughs> <laughs> So that was like, yeah. that was a real thing. And like, I think if I remember correctly, there was like a huge thing on it. Like they got in so much trouble for actually airing that, but Oda didn't care about the fines. Yeah. He was like, I, I need yeah. people to understand. <laughs> right. That's awesome. I love it. Yeah. He, he uses one F-bomb wisely and like perfectly. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I had to mention it. Yeah. I love it. I love little lore bits like that. Yeah. And that's why this episode means so much to me, because I remember, like, Google searching it, being like, dude, he just said fuck you, like, animes don't do that, you know? Yeah, Dragon Ball, I'm pretty sure they say, like, ass and, like, mm -hmm. bastard they and damn. They say bastard, damn, all that stuff, yeah. But I guess it's probably, maybe it's, like, not a, really a swear word over there. Yo, is it the ghost of Tom?
メリーゴの元の姿を知っていて。ネリーゴを本来の姿に戻していたことだ。本人残ってる言葉があるんだ。直接あいつが言ったのか。気のせいだろうかとわからねえな。大丈夫。もう少しみんなを運んであげる。I don't know if I remember hearing that. He did. Usopp didn't tell people that part. ビリーゴ。消しちゃったんじゃねえか。思うんだ。では、もうすでに限界で。俺たちにそれを知らせ。俺を行かれた奴だと思うだろ。別に信じなくてもいい。兄貴。信じるも何も。そいつは傷口を
取り込み中失礼お嬢さん二人が中へ入れてくれなかったもんと<笑>ガレーラの秘書<laughs> This ending's like, it was bad before, now it's like. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know if I can watch, like, look at it. <laughs> See, I, I never thought that's what that was. Like, my head was in so many places with that. I didn't even think I was gonna find out for a long time. It was almost like I was prepared to, like, wait. A very long time. It was also fitting, I think, that Frankie was the one that explained it to him and knew exactly what it was. You know? I I love how Frankie know like he's obviously like a master, right? Um yeah. and then we're just kind of like like that's new information for him, so it's crazy to see him like he's like, Yeah, this this is a legend even among the legendary shipwrights, but I've never actually seen Yeah. Did you notice that he started calling him brother right at that moment? Wow. Instead of saying, you know, like, yeah, instead of just calling him a yeah. crew member of the Straw Hats and whatever he was saying before, he was like, brother, I know exactly what that was. And I know basically he just gained so much respect for him because he knows how he treated the ship, loved the ship, etc. And as right. a shipwright, like, what can you ask for more, you know? That's that's a great scene too, because like I know Frankie's like a new character, but I feel like that episode just added. I mean, they've been building this up for a while, but like that just added a ton to both their characters for me. Where I just like really like them a lot more. I like how it showed Frankie's not just like, yeah, he's impulsive and he's kind of like a little <laughs> off, you know. Yeah. But I mean, he probably got knocked in the head when he got turned into a cyborg. So like, I'll I'll give him a little. Right. Uh, leeway.